Hey Salem, the text today is found in Mark chapters 15 and chapter 16. In this text, Jesus is crucified. Prior to the crucifixion, Pilate asked the crowd, what evil has he done? But the crowd persisted and yelled, crucify him. Pilate was aware that the chief priests, the people in the crowd swaying the crowd were envious, jealous of Jesus and his ministry. They used this jealous posture to sway the crowd. This feeling of envy and jealousy of what others have that we lack is a heart issue. We tend to be envious of others' looks, skills, opportunities, connections, and the list goes on and on. Jealousy or envy are often rooted in a sense that Jesus owes us something. Now let's think about that for a second. The Jesus who healed, delivered, and saves owes us. In the text, the chief priest noted that he saved others, but he can't come down from the cross and save himself. This is reflective of their lack of understanding of who Jesus really is. I think this question still plagues us, so many of us today. Who is Jesus really? If you really know and believe in him, you will be grateful instead of envious when others are granted things you think you might want or desire. The same Jesus who you sense is blessing others, has a plan for you too if you trust him. If you trust him, he will bless and keep you. If you put your hope and faith in him, he will give you your heart's desires. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this Lenten season. We thank you for the text and all the beautiful things that you've shared with us in this text, Lord God. We thank you, God, that we could put our hope and faith in Jesus, Lord God. And we thank you, God, that as envy and jealousy creeps into our heart, we pray that you will replace it, Lord God, with a hope and a desire to know you more, to be connected to you more. We pray that you would give us a desire to seek you, your word, to get us what we need in life, to get us to where we want to be in life, and that's closer to you. We pray, God, that as you continue to keep us through the Lenten season, you will remind us whenever jealousy or envy creeps in that you are our God, you are our keeper, and we are so grateful for that. We pray this prayer in your son Jesus' name. Amen.